as someone who is poised to take the family name into oblivion, you know, the last of uh, my line, there is a story that I read a few years ago, a study, um, which stayed with me. It was about uh, older dads and uh, how, as a result of a genetic mutation, they're likelier to produce children with uh, health issues and also uglier children. So right away there, if you're an older dad, uh, a regular older dad, you, you, you work nine to five, you're a working class guy, uh, you know, you, you've got a function in your community, you don't live in some gated community, uh, you know, right there, right away, you've got a problem. You know, that, that child is going to be picked on at school, they're going to be teeming with resentment, they're going to notice at some point uh, their dad is about 20, 30 years younger than their friend's dad. Um, you're going to be, uh, you know, in my case, not being a driver, you know, I'm going to be uh, busing the kid into school. Um, you know, I might, I would imagine being quite uh, aware of my surroundings, I would pick up on, uh, you know, some sniggering as I board the bus with uh, my child 50, 60 years younger than me. Um, you're going to need to develop a tough skin under those circumstances. You're going to probably need to, uh, you know, work out regularly. You're going to need to be, uh, you know, work on your uh, strength conditioning. You, you, you might have to deal with um, uh, other dads who might take issue with you for uh, having a word with their child for mocking uh, your son's much older dad, your son or daughter's much older dad. So that's not something I particularly fancied. Now, older dads in this day and age are not unusual, but often the examples that are, are given are, you know, celebrity older dads, you know, Hollywood actors who are still having kids in their 60s, you know, ITV uh, celebrities uh, loved by the chin who are having da uh, children in their, you know, 60s and 70s. Um, you know, do you think for one moment that uh, these much older dads these wealthy older dads take their children to school, do you think that they would run the risk of being mocked by the parents and uh, their offsprings, uh, classmates? Of course not. You know, they'd probably have a chauffeur, probably employ a chauffeur. And as soon as the kid's four or five years old, they, they send them off to some private school, in part because they want their much younger child to have a good education. But also there'd be, I think, an element of relief because that's less time that they have to spend with their child, which means there is less of an opportunity to incur the mocking that uh, the working class, much older dad would have to deal with uh, on a regular basis. Um, you're going to be 50, 60 years older than your child. You're going to be a burden. Your health starts to decline just as the kid is going to uni, are you able to dissuade your child, your much younger child from going to university to, to kind of look after you, to keep you out of the care home? Or are you going to hope that uh, they return home after university? Uh, they won't have mentioned uh, how much older you are uh, to their new university friends. They won't bring university friends home to meet their much older dad. You've got to hope that uh, after they finish uni, they're so ridden with debt that they return to the family home. They start going to a few hospital appointments with you. Uh, you know, you, you, you go to the hospital, you step inside to see the doctor. The doctor might say, this is your uh, grandson, this is your granddaughter. No, this is my son, this is my daughter. Doctor does a double take. So these are the kind of things as uh, a much older dad living in the real world would have to deal with. These are not things that you... Hollywood actors who've got children 60 years younger than them, who your ITV celebrities who've got children 50, 60 years younger than them, they, they, they won't have a clue about this stuff. You know, they've, they've spread their seed. They're going to live on through their much younger child. They've already got, uh, they're already grandfathers. They're, their last children are whatever, uncles to their grandchildren. I don't know, it's all, it, it all gets confusing. What I'm saying is, you know, I think I'm, I'm fine with being the last of the line. I'm happy to see this lineage just die off, you know. 
Um, I think it was Thomas Kennelly in um, Schindler's Ark, which I did for my uh, A-level, a book I actually never liked, I have to say, but there was a line there that uh, stayed with me. Um, I think it was uttered by one of the German uh, protagonists, uh, one of the Nazis. I think it was uh, something along the lines of the phallus is faster than the gun. You know, anybody can have a kid, but it's not everyone that can leave behind a YouTube channel with uh, 55 subscribers. If you do uh, like this video, please uh, share it. Please subscribe. There should be a little prompt coming up around here. Maybe it might be this side. I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be this side. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, please share the video and uh, I hope that you enjoy your day.